Hey everyone, Angela Langlotz, trademark and business law attorney here. Forgive that little pause at the beginning. I'm actually going live today also on Instagram, and this is the first time I've ever done that. So, uh, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit of doing when you're new to something. So I had to get that going. I'm not actually really happy with it because um, I don't like the way the background looks, but I'm zooming in right now. Today I'm going to talk about a copyright issue. <laughs> this is kind of an interesting case that I come across. I come across all kinds of interesting real life intellectual property studies in the real world. And this was one that was kind of funny. Uh, it involved a monkey. Yes, you heard it right. And I want to talk about, well, who owns the monkey selfie? <laughs> and if you don't know and haven't seen it, this is the monkey selfie. He's kind of a, a cute little guy. And uh, so what, what happened? Why do we have this, this monkey selfie? Well, there was a guy who was a photographer and he went to the Indonesian rainforest and he set up some equipment and then he went off and did something else. And when he came back and looked at the camera, he discovered that apparently one of the, um, I think it's a, a macaque, uh, anyway, one of the primates there had picked up his camera and taken a selfie with it. And of course, when he shared it on social media, it went viral, right? <laughs> and um, then there was this question about, well, who owns the selfie? So under copyright law, when you take a selfie of yourself, you own that. It's your property and nobody else can use it without your permission or make a derivative work from it, right? That's not permitted under the copyright law and you can get damages if you can show them or um, statutory damages if you register the work, although who would want to register all your selfies? I don't even know. But anyway, you can get damages for that. So um, it was decided amongst the people that since the photographer whose equipment it was hadn't actually snapped the photo that he didn't own the copyright either. And that's actually correct because you only have a copyright on your work, not the work of monkeys or third parties, um, unless it's a different circumstance, which we can talk about later. But for our purposes now, we're going to say, unless you took the photo, you don't have the rights to it. Absent other considerations. Anyway, so people started posting this. It got to uh, Wiki Commons Media, which is where it belongs because it's, it's now in the public domain because animals don't have a right. They're not considered authors under the copyright law, so they don't have any rights in their creations. Now, I know there's these, there's these painting elephants out there. Maybe I'll do a section on that, the painting elephants. Who owns the copyright? No idea. I don't think it's anybody's copyright. Again, animals do not have rights under the copyright laws. But PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, actually sued the photographer for copyright infringement on behalf of the monkey, since monkeys uh, can't bring suit in federal court for copyright infringement. They actually brought suit on the monkey's behalf and alleged that because the photographer, the wildlife photographer, published this image in his a book of photographs that he was actually infringing the copyrights of the ape who took the photo. The ape's name was Naruto. That's what the anthropologist who was studying these, these apes named the ape. Okay, so the case goes all the way up to the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, which is the second highest you know, court in the land. The only place that you go from there is to the Supremes, and that's a really big deal, but so is the Ninth Circuit. Okay, so it goes to the Ninth Circuit. The Ninth Circuit says, no, we kind of already decided on this, this issue, whether animals have rights to sue, and they don't. So uh, we're going to remand this to the federal district court. And uh, by the way, PETA, you get to pay uh, the photographer's attorney's fees, right? Because uh, we think your suit's frivolous. <laughs> At least one of the judges gave the opinion that the suit was frivolous, and I agree. I mean, what was the point? What kind of money damages was this monkey going to get for, for copyright infringement? It wasn't as if, you know, I, mean, I think PETA, in my opinion, you know, was just doing it for, um, excuse me, the sake of publicity, right? So um, anyway, <laughs> all kinds of fun, fun stuff comes up under, under copyright. I'm Angela Langlotz, trademark and business law attorney, and you can find me online at trademark 
trademarkdoctor.net. You can also find me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash trademark doctor. If you like my trademark doctor page, you'll be notified every time I go live. And if you have any trademark questions, please feel free to message me and I will answer them in a future live. Instagram folks, thanks for watching. Facebook folks, thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow. It's Friday.